Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Cue the classic Austin Powers meme. I'll probably have to make it custom for this video. It'll 100% be the meme of the day. Another whistleblower points the finger at DOJ malfeasance and Biden family criminal schemes and corruption. Quick, release the Trump audio file. Yet again, another ridiculous distraction. The Bidens are going down. The Bidens are being exposed. They are being exposed for running a criminal money laundering and bribery scheme racket. There is so much there there, so much actual credible and substantive evidence, not circumstantial evidence, but actual legitimate hard evidence suggesting the Biden bros, the Biden boys are guilty. And that's what everybody should be talking about because you know that if that was Trump, if it was Trump's family caught in the same scandal and the same criminal investigation, it would be nightly news, daytime news, morning news, primetime news every single day day, non-stop, seven days a week, months and months and months on end. Investigations would be launched, an impeachment would be started. You know that that's exactly what would happen, but in this case, nobody's talking about it, or at least CNN does a little glancing report on it. Doesn't even hit their top five reporting priorities. And right as it's getting bad for Biden, all of a sudden, perfectly timed, definitely not a coincidence at all, the Trump tape is released. The audio file, which we already saw the transcript of, and the special counsel, Mar-a-Lago classified document investigation indictment. Oh, it's the smoking gun, and Donald Trump is definitely going to jail this time. Leftoids are probably fantasizing and generating mid-journey AI photo outputs of Donald Trump in an orange jumpsuit or getting arrested by Florida police. They've got him this time. Except, of course, like usual. Look, I'm no legal expert, but from my perspective, it's yet again another nonsense. Nothing burger. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. Let's talk about it. Let's highlight the double standard as we always do. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, big breaking news. You're going to see it all over Twitter. You're going to see it all over the mainstream media. Everyone's ignoring the whistleblowers, and everyone is playing this clip, claiming it's the end, the end of the road for Donald Trump. These are bad, sick people. That, but, was, that was your coup, you know, against you. That's well, it started they, right at the like beginning. Like when Millie's talking about, oh, you were going to try to do a coup. No, they, they were trying right. to do that before you even were sworn in. That's right, trying right. to overthrow your election. Well, with Millie, uh, let me see that. I'll, I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. I just, isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I just found. Uh, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential, yeah. <laughs> secret. <laughs> this is secret information. <laughs> look, look at this. You attack. And Hillary would print that out all the time. You know. <laughs> she'd, send it, no, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pervert. Um, by the way, isn't that incredible? Yeah. I was just saying because we were talking about it, <laughs> and you know, he said he wanted to attack Iran and what? Yeah, He's in the papers. Did. Pretty, oh, this was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably. Right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to. Try to figure out a, a, yeah. See, as president, I could have deed less. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't, you know, but this is yeah, classic. Now, now we have a problem. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, it's so, I'm, look, we hear it, I have a, and you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe It's incredible. It. Right? No, it, hey, bring it, some, uh, bring some coke, in, please. Now, again, this is being presented as damning evidence, but it changes nothing. It's literally the same thing as the transcript, which we've covered previously. And if anything, it's even less damning than the transcript was, perceptually, like how I'm perceiving it. This audio file is supposed to convince you that Donald Trump is guilty of the Espionage Act. 
that he's guilty of technically spying, mishandling top secret classified documents in a manner that could have put United States national security at risk. How? So a couple things here still aren't clear. Did Trump actually show the document? He spoke about the document in a very vague surface level manner. He had papers in his hands that he was rifling through. You could definitely hear that, but there's no evidence that he actually opened any classified document or showed anybody the actual content of a document. It seems like he's just shuffling through papers, shuffling through documents and saying, you know, well, they just sent me this and it's classified, highly confidential, yada, yada, yada. We can't really talk about it. And then he just moves on. Is that a crime? Is that mishandling of a document? Again, I'm no legal expert, but the question that I have in relation to the handling of these documents, is it illegal for a Trump aide to even be present while one of these documents is on the president's desk or in his hands? Like if he has a classified document in his hand, but it's closed and he's not showing it to anyone, would that be mishandling of classified information? I feel like there's no way that that's the case. My perception is totally unchanged. You know, to bring a charge against a sitting president, an espionage charge, you better have Donald Trump selling state secrets kind of like how the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, was just joking about with the leader of India. I was just thinking, uh, uh, the, anyway, I started off without you. And I sold a lot of state secrets and a lot of very important things that we shared. Oh, well, fact check. He said he was just kidding. But seriously, that to me seems like a high crime. If Trump was accused of that or if there was credible evidence that he engaged in that type of behavior. But obviously that never happened and there's no evidence to suggest that it did. If you're going to bring a case like this, you better have something serious. All they have is Donald Trump dealing with his own documents and briefly and very vaguely talking about a classified file. That's it. Does that seem to you like a serious felony investigation? A serious investigation of espionage on matters of of national security? No, that is a freaking witch hunt. That is a bogus investigation that is being done purely for partisan reasons. They hate Donald Trump because he challenges the status quo. He's a threat to the deep state. And so they're willing to take something like this and go after a former president with the full might of the justice system. It is absolutely patently absurd. And once again, another thing that still remains unchanged from my perspective, these are his documents. From my understanding of the Presidential Records Act, the President of the United States after leaving office, or the former President of the United States after leaving office, is given a time period where he is to work with NARA. I'm not sure what the time period is, but I've heard reputable individuals suggest that there's a multi-year time period after the president leaves his office where he is given authority over his documents to go through them, to organize them, and to work with NARA with how to proceed. The Presidential Records Act strictly states that they are his documents, that they solely belong to the president of the United States of America. And that remains unchanged. The fact that they would bring charges shows you how deeply corrupt and awful these people really are. And if the threshold is so low to bring charges against Donald Trump, then you would think that Mike Pence, Hillary Clinton, and Joe Biden would currently be behind bars. Because again, there's one difference based on the Presidential Records Act. Legally, the documents that Trump was in possession of belonged to him. They're his documents. When it comes to Hillary Clinton, Mike Pence, and Joe Biden, they don't have the same legal protection. In fact, what they did was actually illegal. It's freaking propaganda meant to distract you away from the actual crimes of the Bidens. Not to mention, this seems like yet again another DOJ leak. Leaks and leaks and leaks. Never-ending leaks. People seem to forget that leaking something like this during an investigation is actually illegal. But no, of course not. Nobody cares and nobody's gonna focus on any of that. The orange man bad narrative continues. I mean, what a load of crap. If anything, this leaked audio file exonerates President Trump even further. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. You know that we would love to have you here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.